Teachers, I like to do this activity in the middle of electrostatics. After the students have encountered the basic concepts of conductor and insulator and electric charge, and before I do the mathematics. I find it's a good inspirational activity. They have fun doing it. So much fun that even the high school seniors who have already been admitted to college get enthusiastic about doing this activity. And in fact, they taught me a fun extension, which is you can have one group fly their tinsel and then pass it around to every other group in the classroom without letting it touch the ground. One other note here, tinsel is available during and after Christmas time. So think about it at Christmas and buy a bunch of tinsel. One way to take this experiment further is to do some mathematics. I can actually estimate the amount of charge that I'm dealing with in this situation. And I do that by first drawing the forces on the tinsel. There's gravity down, which is its mass times the acceleration of gravity, and the electrostatic repulsion up and the electrostatic equation is a constant K times the charge on the tinsel times the charge on the pi pan divided by the distance between them squared. And I have to set those two equal. The gravity force and the electrostatic lift are equal when the tinsel is flying. And we can rearrange that in this form. It's the same equation, just rearranged. Now we'll need to get the values of all these terms to find out what the charges are. So I did some measurements. I found out it flew about a tenth of a meter high. I measured the mass of the tinsel. It was 10 to the minus fifth kilograms. The electrostatic constant is 9 times 10 to the ninth. And the acceleration of gravity is 10 meters per second squared. So I wrote the equations and plugged in my terms. Now this is a rough estimate. So I rounded everything off to its nearest power of 10. And so I put in the mass times the acceleration of gravity times the distance between the two squared divided by the constant. And that gave me that charge 1 times charge 2 is 10 to the minus 15th. But I don't know how the charge divides. So I just did an estimate. I thought maybe the two charges are roughly equal. And if they're equal, I just take the square root of the right. And I find we're dealing here with about 3 times 10 to the minus 8th coulombs of electric charge. Now I made some big assumptions when I did this calculation, like assuming that both charges were the same. I bet you can do better, and so I leave that to, as a challenge to you.